Всем привет, друзья! В Сиэтле, в моем районе, Норсгейт, ведется крупное строительство надземного метро, которое в ближайшем будущем разрузит дорожный поток, уменьшит заторы, позволяя добраться от центра города всего за 15 минут. И я решил попытаться выяснить, можно ли устроиться на работу в крупную строительную компанию, которая занимается строительством одной из крупнейших веток метро. Для этого мне просто понадобилось прийти на строительный объект и спросить первых попавшихся строителей, с кем я могу переговорить по вопросу об устройстве на работу. Меня направили в офис, который находился всего в двух кварталах непосредственно возле строительного объекта, растянувшегося на несколько миль, и порекомендовали найти суперинтендент, руководителя строительства. Итак, офис строительной компании и мое первое интервью в Америке. I'm looking for superintendent because I'm Carpenter Union apprentice. Yes, and I'm looking for a job. I just hired a guy. Okay. What period are you? First period. Brand new? Yes. First. Are you brand new? Brand brand new? Brand new? Or you already worked before? No, no, no. I'm just uh, finished my PAC program, pre-apprenticeship transaction training program, and boot camp. Boot camp. Okay. Yes, it's like uh, construction school. We, we learn about concrete, concrete forms, everything. It's like three weeks. So you haven't gone out to a job yet. Yes, I just need a job. So this is your first job. Yes, first job. Oh, I I had before in my country. A lot of construction, different jobs. <laughs> <laughs> so write your name, name, date, trade, put first period, what local you are, okay. and your phone number, and if I get to a pinch and I need somebody, I'll give you a call. Okay. What's your name? Like Maxim in my language, Max, just Max. Uh, I am from Ukraine. Ukraine. Yes. Uh, today is uh, 28. Local 30. Oh, email. Oh, yeah. Thanks, man. Uh, thank you so much, uh, and uh, it doesn't mean that I get a job. Yes. No. I have to wait some several weeks. Yes. So. Uh, it, it's only if something pops up that I need somebody. Mm. So I want to stop looking. Keep going. Yes, yes. Like I'm ready. I, I have my, all my tools. That's good. A guy, a guy came in like that yesterday. Uh, not yesterday. Last week. Same oh. thing. First job. Oh. And I needed a guy, so mm. I hired him. Oh. Is it Ben? Ben. Ben Benjamin. Benjamin. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yeah, because we is the is the same class. Was yep. Is it Benjamin? Yes. I happy <laughs> if I start work at the same place. Because that I leave it. Be not good for me. No, no good. Why? Because then you both go to school at the same time. Then I lose two carpenters for a week. Hmm. Yeah, think about that, huh? Hmm. But I live here in Northgate area. That's way too close. You gotta live far like me. Oh. Uh, where do you live? Gay Harbor. Gay Harbor. It's like thirty miles. Thirty. It's like sixty-four. Oh. Away. Oh. It's tough. And you go all the yeah. way to Tacoma, and you keep going over the bridge. Oh. And then you keep going. Every day. Every day. Oh. 
makes you want to shoot yourself, yes. But we have to be like a warrior. That's in school, our teachers teach us. It was amazing teacher. It's, it was like superintendent mm -hmm. before Roger Silva, if you know, no? Roger Silva. I think it does sound familiar. It's amazing teacher. He teaches everything about concrete forms. Very good teacher. Okay, thank you, sir. No problem. Nice to meet you. I am waiting for a call. Друзья, сегодня я потерпел неудачу. И они уже взяли на работу такого же студента, моего одноклассника по строительной школе, который был без единого опыта работы. И на сегодня им просто не нужны люди. Но тем не менее, он мне посоветовал не опускать руки и продолжать. И возможно, мне перезвонят. Да, шанс маленький, но он есть. К тому же, это не единственный способ найти работу. Все только начинается. Thank <laughs> you.